The next step is constructing the interior and exterior walls. And for both, the process is the same. Using flat assembly tables, the walls are framed using 2x4 or 2x6 studs at 16 inches on center, with bad insulation placed in between and as needed to meet the building energy requirements. What's important to note here is the fixed tolerances allowed in the wall fabrication process as a result of using the dimensional framing table. Door and window openings are placed utilizing prefabricated components to ensure standardized measurements and efficient handling. In parallel, all electrical and plumbing roughing components are installed within the wall section prior to placing the interior drywall panels. Each wall section is marked with an identification code so it can be properly placed on the building footprint. The interior and exterior wall sections are then lifted and placed into the floor section in accordance with the building floor plan. The HVAC unit is also installed in this section prior to any of the exterior finished work commencing. One of the core advantages of modular building manufacturing process is having multiple component prefabrication stations that allow for a repetitive and thus consistent process of assembling core building components such as walls, doors, and HVAC ductwork. This process ensures the control tolerances required during the assembly process are achieved. The roof and ceiling section is typically fabricated in one station, and depending on the type of interior ceiling used, the process may change a bit. Here we see a roof section that has a hard deck ceiling, and as a result of that, the first step in the process is to lay the ceiling drywall panels first, then place the roof trusses as per the engineering design. The trusses are mechanically fastened and or adhered to the ceiling panels. Again, little room for dimensional variations due to the fixed framing tables used to assemble the roof sections. The roof section is then lifted and placed on a secondary station where all the electrical wiring, the insulation, and the HVAC ductwork is installed in the roof cavity. Additionally, light fixtures and diffusers are installed on the finished side of the roof section. The completed roof section is then lifted and placed on the building module and fastened as per the engineering drawings. In this station, the exterior wall sheathing and the air barrier is installed. So basically, here is where the building gets enclosed and enters into the finishing stage. And on this particular building, a hardy panel siding is being installed. The siding panels are pre-cut and pre-painted in different stations and done in a controlled environment within this facility. <laughs>